Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be discussing what you need to know before you buy 2023 Topps Stadium Club. As finally, Stadium Club arrives this Wednesday, tomorrow, uh, January 24th. So finally, we're going to talk about Stadium Club. I mean, we should have talked about this like forever ago, uh, but here we are, right? Here we are finally talking about Stadium Club. So before we get into that, thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? That's the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button to show your support for all the content that we do make here on the channel. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away hobby packs of baseball cards once we hit 8,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is be publicly subscribed, like this video, Turn on the post notifications for all the content you see on the channel. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section on what you're looking forward to this upcoming baseball season in 2024. And I will pick the winner once we hit 8,000 subscribers. So there is that. Would love to give away some Series 1 packs as we're less than, I think, like 24, 23 days away from the product. Um, so would love to give away some packs of series one. So could we hit 8,000 by Valentine's day? Um, I'd love that. That'd be awesome. Speaking of series one, I don't know if you saw my short or not, but Ronald Acuna Jr. Is on the cover of series one this year, which is no surprise at all. Um, rightfully deserved. I mean, who else is it going to be besides Shohei? But they literally put Shohei on boxes of cards like all the time. Um, so Ronald Acuna Jr. Actually, fun fact is on the cover of Stadium Club as well. Um, so I guess the next two top releases are going to have Ronald Acuna Jr. on the cover. So that's perfectly fine by me. He's a good enough player to, to have that. Uh, so, yeah, so there's that. And last but not least, channel memberships are available. Hit the Join tab today. I'm going to be doing exclusive videos every single week, one a week to be exact, on the channel membership tab. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we're going to be doing discussions of some kind, uh, unboxings, uh, blaster box openings. So we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff there on the channel, on the channel membership. So uh, yeah, if you want to join, we'd love to have you. So there's that. So let's get into the topic at hand in this video. Before I do, I want to show you something real quick. So this is a Christmas gift. I just got it in today. Look at this. Frank the Tank autograph. If you guys don't know who this is, I mean, if you're a Mets fan, you certainly know who Frank the Tank is. But uh, Frank the Tank, man, got his Leaf Auto. I think it's numbered out of 470. Yep, so there's only 470 of these made. Um, it cost me like 40 bucks. It was actually a Christmas present, but uh, I bought it myself. Um, but either way, here we go. Frank the Tank Auto. Really freaking cool. Love this card. Definitely a huge influencer. He works for Barstool, so pretty cool there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, by far one of my favorite baseball personalities or influencers on the internet. Because man, Frank's passionate as just as I am with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Man, I don't like to scream and stuff on TikTok like he does, but man, I am just as passionate as him when it comes to my Pittsburgh Pirates. I'll tell you that very much. So love Frank. That's awesome. His videos are great. One, one, one more can I say? Right? One more can I say? Um, so let's talk about Stadium Club. Let's talk Stadium Club, right? Finally, we get to talk about Stadium Club, right? And, you know, I was doing research on this proc tonight. And it's it's all over the place. It really is all over the place, which we will talk about in this video. Because you have three different formats, one of which is brand new. they never done before for this product. And everything like that. So it's really all over the place, like I said. Um, but really, when it comes down to this set, I mean, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I love Stadium Club. Stadium Club, by far, without a doubt, is one of my top five favorite sets every year. But the problem here, this year, and hopefully this doesn't happen 
for 2024 Stadium Club, right? The problem here is, is this set was plagued so much with problems that a lot of people, like myself, are going to look at this product and say, who cares? Because here's the thing. We're less than... But we're about three weeks away. We're about three weeks away, or about 21 days or so, 20, 22 days exactly, if I believe, from Series 1. So I'll talk about that a little bit later down the line, my real thoughts and opinions. But realistically, you know, are people going to buy this product? Absolutely. This product will sell out mostly everywhere. I'll talk about mostly in a second because the Hobby Box price, oh, man. Oh, man. We'll talk about it in this video. So let's get my notebook. And let's see what we got working here. So let's see. Like I said, we have three different formats. We have one retail format and two hobby formats. Um, like I said, one hobby format is the first time ever they are doing said format. So I'm assuming this will be a recurring thing uh, every year now for this proc. So let's get into it. So let's talk the cheapest version first, which is the Blaster Box. So of course... The Blaster Box is returning this year, of course. Blaster Box price, $25. No difference there. Eight cards, or I should say eight packs, five cards a pack. 40 total cards in a Blaster Box. Um, you know, it is what it is. I really haven't looked at the odds for the proc. Um, admittedly, there's really no reason to. Um, retail, I mean, you could probably hit big in retail. You probably could. But you would have to buy, I mean, you would have to buy a ton. And I mean a ton of retail, probably, to hit big. So, I'm really not the best or biggest fan of, of retail sports cards. Um, just because of the fact of what Topps has done with the, with the retail product as of late. Um, but really, if you just want to buy one box and just to give it a go and see what it's all about, I mean, a blaster box won't hurt. I mean, of course, the, the photos on these cards are just beautiful. Um, the glossiness of the cards is, is great, right? Um, but really, if you're buying a blaster box, you're not really buying for the hits because there's really probably none to be had there. Um, you'd probably have to buy at least probably 10 blasters or so to, to, to get an autograph considering the fact that they have more autos now more than ever in hobby the odds of pulling an autograph are probably slim to none let's be honest um but you know blaster box is is not bad it's not a bad idea if you just want to buy one product of the of the product or one version of the product and just give it a go and say you know what i bought one box i'm done i'm not buying anymore right not a bad option there but definitely the least intriguing out of the three right now let's get to the second option, which is honestly my most interesting of the three. And that is what is called a compact hobby box, right? So what is a compact hobby box, you may ask? Well, to put it quite simply, it is literally, if you took a samurai sword sliced a normal hobby box in half that is literally i kid you not what this is so what this is it's eight packs eight cards a pack the price is 70 dollars now depending on where you buy it some might be 65 some might be 75 or even 80 dollars depending on your store and how they price things right and the selling point is one autograph per box so Here's the thing, right? It's not like a Breaker's Delight box. So don't get this twisted. This is in no way, shape, or form a Breaker's Delight box where you're getting all these parallels or everything like that. Far from it. All it is, it's literally a half of a hobby box. And it's one guaranteed autograph. And that's what you get. 64 total cards. Um, you know, can't really beat it. You really can't beat that. Um, $70, though. I mean, a little pricey. It really is for eight packs. Um, you know, it, it is what it is, right? Um, it's definitely a good idea, though. It's definitely a good option because, which we will talk about, the price of a hobby box, man, holy God, is it expensive. Holy God. Like I said, take this 
hobby box, divide it by two, you get yourself a compact hobby box. So basically, we'll get into the hobby box right now. Just take everything I said and multiply it by two. Price for a hobby box is 150 right? 16 packs, eight cards a pack, 128 total cards, and two autos guaranteed, as always. Of course, barring a redemption card, which is definitely possible, in the hobby box. And man, I mean, I'll say this. Wasn't Tops selling these for pre-order back in September or October for like $110 to $120? I mean, damn, $150? Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm getting this price based off of hobby store websites, right? So it might not be $150 on tops.com. Actually, I don't expect it to be. Now, it might be about $130 on tops.com or maybe $140 even. But think of it like this. Add shipping and tax onto that. You're paying about $150 is the same price you'd be buying it at a card store. Right? And speaking of card stores, who's to say they don't jack up the price to about maybe $160, maybe even $170 a box, depending on your store and how they price things, right? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, the compact hobby box is literally a half of a hobby box. Literally. No joke. That's literally what it is, right? I just, I don't know, man. I mean, here's the thing, right? Last year, we had the same problem to an extent. Hobby boxes on hobby store retailer sites were like $180 last year. I know I made a whole video about it, right? I made a whole video about it, right? And how overpriced it would be and it's not worth it, yada, 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 right? We're kind of seeing the same thing here, except it's about $150. Um, but here's the thing. It makes sense. It absolutely makes sense because a compact hobby box is $70. So just multiply that by two, you get 150. Well, not really, but it's 140 times it by two. But you know what I mean. It's 150 for a whole hobby box, right? So, like, I mean, it can't be much lower than 150. I, the cheapest I could see this product being is 140 to 135. So take that with what you will. But, man, what is Tops doing here? Because correct me if I'm wrong, because I know a lot of people in my comment section pre-ordered boxes through Tops.com and had them canceled on them in like October, or September or October. So people who did this in the comment section, let me know. How much were boxes on Tops.com back in September or October? Because if they were 120 or whatever, like I thought they were, boy oh boy, boy oh boy, man. And here's the thing, right? It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell because here's the thing. Tops is going to put these up on the website. Tops is absolutely going to put these up on the website to order. I would have to assume maybe even today. I doubt it. Maybe probably definitely tomorrow because the release date is on Wednesday. So do they charge 140 to 150 or do they go back to that price of what they sold them for pre-order at at about $120? Big question marks surrounding this set. And I guess I'll just get into how I'm going to buy this set. And the answer to that question, and I kind of alluded to this earlier in the video, I do not think I'm buying the product. And it's sad to say because this is the first time in years I'm probably going to miss out on Stadium Club. I love Stadium Club. Like I said, top five favorite set of mine every single year. You know, Bowman... Um, Chrome, you got, you know, all these different procs like Update, Draft, you know, Stadium Club is right up there with those procs for me, right? And with these prices, I mean, here's the thing, right? I could easily afford any box of cards I ever wanted to, but I like to conservatively spend my money. I don't like to just throw money in the wind and throw it down the drain. That was ne That's never me. That's basically how I always was. I'm not one to just throw money away, right? And here's the thing. The autograph checklist, I, I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, is not good. The autograph checklist of this product is heaping garbage. I'll just put it like that. 
There are a lot of C and D tier rookies you probably have never heard of in your entire lives. Now, sure, all the big guys are in there like Adley, Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris, uh, you know, Matt McClain, you name it. Everyone in Series 1 and Series 2, Walker, Volpe, Yoshida, they're all in there, right? But the autograph checklist is literally probably about 50 to 60 names long. And to, to even get a good rookie name, you'd probably have to buy at least half of a case, maybe even a full case, to get one, maybe two of those good names, right? So unless you bought one box at a card store and hit big, good on you, right? Uh, you know, same thing with the compact hobby box, right? Um, I truly do believe the best way if someone was to buy this product would be the compact hobby box. Um, because it's it's a smaller risk. It's a smaller gamble. It's half the gamble, literally. Um, that would probably be the way I would buy it if I was buying it. Um, but I might I might buy a blaster box just to see the cards. Um, McCutcheon is in the checklist, so I have a reason to buy the box. Or ultimately, what I'm going to do when they show up on eBay is buy a single uh, of his card on eBay, and that is it. And maybe all the Pirates that have cards. I don't know all the Pirates who have cards. Um, but either way, I am probably just going to buy the Pirates, and that is it. Um, I don't think the Pirates have an autograph. I should, actually, I take that back. They do. They have one autograph in the checklist, and that is it. Um, I think maybe two, actually. Now, I take that back. There's two. Um, but either way, there really is no reason for me to buy this proc. There really is no reason to buy this proc for me. Um, so let's just do a highlight again. Retail, take that with what you will. You're probably not going to get anything good. All base, really, and maybe a couple inserts. Red foils, you name it. They're all going to be in there. Um, compact hobby box, decent for the price. And then Hobby Box, I mean, I would have to imagine Topps is going to sell these for a cheaper price. So here's what I'm saying. Here's what my idea is, right? Here is my final conclusion for the video. If Topps sells these on their site for about $120, which I know they're definitely probably not going to do, but if they sell them for the pre-order price, I would buy one through them. Because I can tell you one thing. Your card store is going to jack these prices up to kingdom come. So, if you want to go to a card store and buy this, this box, um, I, I probably wouldn't. I mean, I hate to say it because I, I hate not giving small business, like, business, uh, but I I just don't see it. I, I don't. Um, if they charge anything over 140 at a card store, and if Top sells them for under 140 on their site, like they did with the pre-order price, um, I would just buy it through Tops, but I doubt it because that compact hobby box does exist, which did not go up for pre-order. That's another thing. The compact box did never, ever go up for pre-order at all. So that's another thing to consider. So realistically, what we're probably going to see, Tops.com will probably sell these for about 135 to 140 Add tax and shipping on to that. You're paying 150 regardless. Same thing you'd be paying at a card store for. So ultimately, I give this product a thumbs down. But if you want to try it out, if you were to try it out, I would say a compact box is probably the best way. Um, just because you get 64 cards. Um, checklist is 200. So you'd be getting um, one-fourth plus some of the checklist. Um, good chance to get all the good rookies and everything like that. One autograph guaranteed on card autograph too with that. Um, and yeah, so blaster box. I mean, if you want to buy one, go buy one. I don't know. I'm probably not going to buy one. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But really, like I said, to wrap this video up, the reason I'm not going to buy this product is because it just comes out too close to series one. Now, if this product, if this product came out in October or September when it was supposed to, I would have been all in. I would have been all in on the product. But since we're so close to Series 1, and I would rather buy Series 1 because, of course, it's 2024. It's the newest and shiniest toy, per se. I would rather buy that. And, of course, my Pirates, as a personal collection discussion here for a second, my Pirates have, like, five or six rookie cards in Series 1. And all of them have autographs. And Kutch has a... Um, home field advantage card um, and relics and silver pack cards and everything like that. So I'm going to be going on a huge parallel hunt for multiple different rookie cards in the product and well, as well as Kutch. So really, I'm going to use my money and throw it to that 
rather than this because I know if I spent like $150 on miscellaneous pirates, parallels, autographs, you name it, I know what I'm getting. And if I buy a hobby box for $150, that is probably the biggest gamble I could take and probably would fail. That's just my luck. I have terrible luck when it comes to that stuff. So really, pick your poison. I'm not going to buy the product, but you definitely will. I mean, a lot of you guys probably will. That's fine. Um, but I'm not. I'm just saving my money for Series 1. Um, Series 1 is going to be a really good product, retail-wise at least. Um, hobby, up in the air right now. I truly don't know. But either way, that's all I got for you. That is all I got for you in this video. Now let's get into a pack of Allen and Ginter from 2022. Like I said, we're about 22 days away from Series 1. So, I don't know. I could buy a compact box, but again, I would rather throw $70 to Henry Davis autographs and, and um, MD Rodriguez autographs and, and things like that. So, Josh Donaldson, Labor Taurus, um, is that Jaron Duran? I think so. These are 2022. Reggie Jackson, that's pretty cool. Um, Heimer Candelaria, I believe that is. We have a back up oh, O'Neill Cruz. Look at that, man. Look at that. O'Neill Cruz. Upside down for some reason. I don't know why. But then we got famous rivals, France and England. So the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben. That's pretty cool, right? Um, I don't know why that was upside down. I don't know why. It's not I thought it was an autograph at first. That'd have been nice, but it's not. Um Yeah. I mean it's not numbered. I don't know why. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, O'Neill Cruz card to add to the collection because I do not have this O'Neill Cruz rookie card. So that's another one to add to the, add to the collection, I, a mini. So that's pretty cool, right? So either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about Stadium Club, and I'll see you guys in the next video.